this is the second uh, video that's part of your blog setup and it has a few additional things that I want you to be aware of and give you the opportunity to do. The first one is I want you to go up here, I'm on my blog page, to this area right here and I want you to click on the drop down arrow that's right uh, beside the icon that looks like a piece of paper. This is for more options and they've got several different things that we can choose from. I want you to click on the settings option. Now, on the left hand side of this page for here, um, I want you to look at a few things. First is post and comments. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Under who can comment right here. Um, if I select, if I don't select letting anyone comment, then um, if you want someone that may not have an email account to be able to post, like someday, you know, if you have students that you want to set up a blog with and they don't have a regular email account, then they wouldn't be able to um, post there. So I'm going to choose anyone. That way, um, if I would have someone that didn't have email, if they don't have it, they would still have this option. But um, once I do this, um, that allows anyone to anonymously post to my blog. So um, there are different things I can do here that will help that. If I go down to comment, I'm just going to go down here a little bit. If I go down to comment moderation, then what this does is if I select always, then um, I can see everything that people might write on my blog before it actually goes on the blog and that way if someone would write something inappropriate I could reject it and I wouldn't have to worry about inappropriate things being there but to do that I have to put in my email address right there so uh, the comments that are there will be sent to my email also um, let me just go here too. Do I have it all the way down? No, not quite all the way. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is um, if you go to show word verification, um, in things that I've read, they've recommended that you select the yes option because that prevents spam from getting on your blog. Okay, so that um, takes care of the settings there. Let's slide this back up that I am suggesting now this part is just a suggestion you can choose different things but um, if you want a little more flexibility that still gives you some control that's what I would suggest so then if we want to get back to our new post to start blogging you can go to the upper sorry to the upper right side here and we're going to go ahead and save settings okay and then um, that about does it I can if I'm ready to start posting uh, start writing here I can, you know, click on my little pencil so I can start creating a new post. Um, if you want to view your blog, well, let me, let's click on the pencil first. Let 
So I'll give you little tips here if, if you left that thing checked so that you would get some. Then here's where I can post a title for um, my current post that I'm going to do. Type in what you want to say for your first post and um, I included an assignment for what I want in your very first one. Um, it also lets you view your blog. I don't know if anything will pull up here since I'm not uh, currently, I don't, yeah, I don't have any post yet. But once you get them, click on there, flip over, take a look at it. And I think that about does it for uh, what I need to say today. Um, so you can finish that up, change your settings, and do your first post. I'm looking forward to reading them.